السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ويلكم اجين ان برافيرا تيبس اند تريكس today we're going to see three feature in Bravira that going to help us and many of us wasn't know about it especially the third one so let's start the first feature we have is the second windows for activity or additional activity view to see this one you have to go to view toolbar and from here make sure you have the project tools which this one what is the benefit sometimes we need to open the activities in a different layout rather than keep change the layout from here you can open this one and simply you can get here another layout that you can adjust or open the preferred layout you need like this uh, I will open for example this one and it will be easy for you to get information in this layout or this layout at the same time. The second, not one feature, it's multiple features actually, is the check. To see this one, go to view toolbar. And here select check schedule. You will get multiple icons like this. And this will help you to uh, make a very fast check in this kind of quality check. The first icon here to adjust some uh, uh, threshold like the long lag duration in hours, the large float in hours, large duration in hours. This could be adjusted as per the project standard. This one will show relationship type and if activity Without finish to start relationship, once we click on this one, it will filter the activity without finish to start relationship. And if we make group and sort here hidden if empty, we will get this small sample of activities that maybe need to adjust the relationship if it required. Second one here, logic activity with no predecessor or successor. If you click here, you will get some activities without predecessor or successor as we can see. And it's very fast check. No need to create a filter for this. Third one is negative lags. So luckily we don't have negative lags. And then this one will filter only the activities that has a lag uh, greater than zero. Okay, next one, long lags. This activities has a lag exceeding the uh, the twenty three days or the number here is uh, around uh, thirty five days. Like here, you can see there is one hundred forty four. On uh, 114, 117 days left. Next one is hard constraint. So there is no hard constraint, soft constraint. We don't have soft constraint. Like what soft constraint? Like start on after, start on before, all of this type of uh, soft constraint. And the hard constraint is mandatory start, mandatory finish, start on, start, uh, finish on. Okay. Large float again, just comparing to uh, this one, large float. So it will show you activities that has a float bigger than 32 days. Here we can see activities with total float bigger than 23 days. Okay, next one negative float. We don't have negative float since we don't have actual on this schedule. Next one is large duration. Again, it will use a uh, threshold. We adjust here uh, 35 days as a uh, duration. So any activities bigger than the 32 days, it will show here direct. And mainly if it's in procurement, that means it's acceptable because the long duration of maybe some of the long read item. But 
here could be raised an uh, concern why we have this number of days also this one and this one okay next one is invalid progress since we don't have actual it will not show anything and here it's uh, give some description what is the meaning of invalid progress date before data date Invalid progress date after the data date, that means some activities completed after the data date. No resource or no cost, only one activity without cost or resource. And here, uh, late activities that behind the baseline. And this one, activities without baseline, that means it didn't, uh, it didn't have a baseline or, uh, uh, it's maybe it could be a new activity that not uh, wasn't in the baseline. So this tools I uh, or this feature I believe it's very important to any planning engineer to check the schedule. If uh, you are a consultant or even if you are a contractor that submitting schedule who going to submit schedule and need to make a very fast check. Step toolbar you have to add is the activity critical path. Let me take this one here, and it 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 could save a lot of of your time rather than doing the uh, the this way going here and options and advance and select one of the activity to see the critical path for it. You can simply click on any activity. And here you can select show backward activity critical path or forward or showing the critical path for this one backward and forward. So I will uh, click first backward and it will give me the driver for this activity very fast and very easy. As you can see. Also I can increase the number of float paths by here adjust this one to make it two then it will add more activities and also I can show the WPS so it will consider the WPS or the activity code whatever the group and sort I'm using in, uh, in this layout and here from this one you can select direct the number of critical paths you want to see so we here choose eight and here you can uh, click or see the critical bus resource as per the resource. So, uh, remember sometimes maybe you forget to exit from this mode by re-click on this one. So to see the normal one. So sometimes you forget this one and you will find your activities is filtered. Maybe you're going to wonder why I cannot see all the activities. So probably you click one of those here or one of those here so you have to exit from this mode by re-clicking on this one if you want to see the full path for this one you can click here and you will get the activities backward and forward of this activity and and it will be very helpful to you i will select the first only now and you can see the activities related to this one or all the path for this one and this feature you can see it starting from version 22. I hope you find this video useful for you. And if you have any question, please leave it in the comment. Thank you.